Um, who turned out the lights? Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? I want my mommy! I want my mom! What? What was that? I was covering up the camera? Ooh, that's awkward. Right now, we're in the darkest time of the year. The days are really short, the nights are really long, and sometimes in life, we may find ourselves going through a very dark time in our life. And sometimes as a people, we'll have very dark moments in our history. And it is so dark, and we feel like it's never ending. We feel like we will be stuck in this abyss forever. It's a little like how Joseph felt. In this week's Torah portion, we begin with the story of Joseph sitting languishing in a dungeon. Everyone in his life had abandoned him. His family sold him to slavery. He comes down to Egypt and he earns the trust of a very important family there. And they abandon him and they betray him. And he even earns the trust of fellow inmates and they forget about him. He's alone in his darkness. Nowhere to go. No one to turn to. But he holds on to something. He holds on to the essence of who he is. He holds on to that essence that makes him Yosef. He remembers who he is. And he keeps interpreting dreams. And he becomes second to the king. You know, on Hanukkah, it's no, it's no accident that this story, this Torah portion, is always falling out on the time of Hanukkah. Because in Hanukkah, we were in a dark place. We were in a very, very dark place. You know, we can have darkness where people come and try to wipe us off the map and destroy us from the outside. But the story of Hanukkah was something worse. We got depressed. We lost faith in ourselves. And we started to forget who we are. And we didn't get kicked out of our land. We stayed in our land. But in our own land, we forgot who we were. And it took a few men, a few Maccabees, who, you know, we love talking about these heroes, these warriors. But they were more than just warriors. They reminded us who we are at the core. If we forget what we stand for, we're dead. The Maccabees stood up and they said, no, we remember who we are. So if I have to lift a sword to fight for that, then I'll do that. And if I have to go back to the temple, I have to go back to the Beit Knesset, I have to go back to my roots and talk to my fellow people, remind them about what we are and who we are and what we came from, that's what I'm going to do. Because the worst darkness is to forget what we're made of. And we're made of strong stuff. This Hanukkah, remember who you are. Remember where you came from. Remember that spark of life that's inside of you. And we will pull ourselves out of the darkness. We will pull ourselves out. Please, thumbs up, subscribe, like it. Thank you. Have a good one.